Coastal drops a tough one, 28-21, up in West Point against Army. It was technically a paycheck game, as I believe Coastal received uh, a little bit of a thank you for coming up to Army, but it doesn't make the loss any easier. This was a tough one. Army whipped out not only their awesome all-black uniforms, but... The triple option, which they've gotten away from all season. I think they've ran it for maybe five plays all season, and that's a maybe. And then they they ran it the entire game against Coastal. And as Coach Beck admitted, they, quote, unquote, caught us. Yeah, we tried to make it. I mean, obviously, they hadn't shown it. I think there were five snaps of it all year. They hadn't really done it. So they caught us off guard a little bit. To to. And just it, it surprised him. Uh, and because of doing so, you maybe you have to play catch up and, and just part of, of just who you are. You're always playing from behind when when Army even gets the opening kickoff and takes over seven minutes, seven and a half minutes of the first quarter on the first drive and just goes down the field, but you know, just inching their way. And when you can't get off the field on third down, it, it's it's what it is. We'd make an adjustment and slow them down, and they'd counterpunch and have the answer to it. And then we'd have to make another adjustment, and then they would counterpunch. And, you know, so it was kind of we were, we were chasing them a little bit. So because of that, Jarrett was throwing the ball pretty well. I mean, we had limited possessions, so the stats aren't going to be ungodly. But 189 yards passing, I believe, or 289 passing, three touchdowns. He did throw a costly pick. Um, and the, and in, in the in the end zone, no less. We were trying to reach for Sam Pickney on a third down play. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe we did kind of feel, you know, we hit that one little bubble. A lot of them are RPOs. Yeah, right. We had a lot of RPO run game and stuff. And so they were, you know, as a typical academy team, would you would tend them to be, right, is a bend but don't break, stop the run type, type defense because they face the run all the time. So they're, they're usually pretty good at doing it. So they were adding their players in and giving us bubbles and screens and little slants and, you know, little things of that nature, little hitches. And so if they were, they were called, it just, that's what they were giving us. And then Jared Brown was the offensive story of the game. You just get Jared Brown is basically get Jared ball. Basically what was the game plan of uh, just find him in space. I mean, they ran, little bubble screens to him. They they ran some hook and goes. They uh, ran uh, him in the backfield and just gave him some of the option pitches. So they were just trying to get him the ball in the space. But give Army credit. They were the better team. They were just the better team. But now they're going to host JMU next Saturday for a chance to host or play at Troy for the Sun Belt Championship. So that's where we are now. Okay. That's where we are, minus a plane ride home. And hopefully, Coastal will come out firing. JMU currently is still feeling sorry for themselves and enjoying the 26,000 with game day in there. But they're currently losing to Appalachian State, who still has contention as well for being the East representative in the Sun Belt. There we go, folks. There's my takeaway. There's Coach Beck's opinions of today. So if you could hit the like, hit the follow back button, and then share your comments. And then if you'd like to repost this on your walls, please do so as well. Thanks for watching. Sean's up.